Right on, man. <laughs> well, we're here we go. I don't have the tune, but we're going. Here the show has begun. <laughs> I'm getting so many messages right now from Graham cuz he's trying to watch the Oilers. Oh, like on the using the Wi-Fi? No, he's going to a place to watch the Oilers. It's probably it's probably a lot of a lot of people down there wanting to watch the game, I'm guessing. I think so probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um this Point- there'll be people. There'll be people watching the game. Welcome to Impossible Way, Way of Life, everybody. Uh, our special guest today is uh, James Sorry. Younger, uh, yeah. <laughs> coming to you all the way from Sayulita in uh, Jalisco, Mexico. Exactly. Um, and uh, James, how are you today? I'm feeling pretty good. It's been a nice day down here. Let's the shade. shades off here so you can see a little bit better. Yeah. yeah, it's been a nice day today. I um, got up and, you know, when you're on holiday... And it's very rare, actually. Most people, well, people like me and you don't really know. You'll never know this no. feeling again, actually. No, never. <laughs> um, I can tell you the that. Feel, the <laughs> feeling of, like, it's like I've been here for, like, five days, and now I'm, like, it takes you, like, a few days to, like, get out of the mentality yeah. of the city. Oh, sure. So you're in the mentality of the city, and I, uh-huh. you, like, kind of think you're meant to do stuff. Yep. You know, it's like I'm meant to go, like, oh, there's a hike I should do, you know. Took yep. about took about three days, and then you're just kind of like, I'm gonna do, I'm I'm doing nothing. I'm I don't want to think about anything. Yeah, yeah. It's like ambient. So I kind of got to that state of mind. So yeah, even doing this is kind of fucking frustrating, to be honest. <laughs> but you know what? The fans deserve it. Yeah, you know, because we've been well, away a lot. The two of us have been away a lot. Yeah, you know, this month. Uh, I've not spoken to you since you got back from your sojourn. Well, I which just got I back. Yeah, to, yeah. Uh, uh, basically last night. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, we've been doing what we like to call the bare minimum lately because we're on summer holidays, essentially. Um, Absolutely. And a lot of people honestly respect that. I've gotten a lot of messages, seen a lot of things on Instagram yeah. and stuff, just people being like, honestly you know guys just you know you can just tell yourself us to, enjoy it. to fuck off for a yep. while you know what i mean so. it's all good and we we appreciate that um and i'm glad you're down i can see palm trees in behind you the sunshine yeah i know you're it's, by your private pool right now well i've moved away from it it's actually just it's just clouded over a little bit here but it's like a balmy 28 degrees with okay. cloud feels like 35 in the jungle yeah. here well, I'm it's, not there, so what I did instead was put on a Hawaiian shirt and cracked a Corona. Just yeah, to, so I appreciate that. Just so I could sort of pretend that I have y- your life right now. So yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's really nice here. Like it's a uh, turns out you can totally go to Mexico in the middle of summer. Yeah, well, that's a great that's a great thing. Yeah, because yeah, a lot um, of people telling me that it was not going to be doable, going to be unbearably hot. No, because you got the pool, you got the o- the Pacific there. It's and nice. that's good for me because maybe we're thinking that maybe someone in Mexico who has a place like where you're at might want to do like a house swap with us. Oh, you'll you'll find that no problem. And I think it'll be a hard sell to get people to want to come here in like February. Yeah, you know. So the summer maybe that's the way to go. You know? I just want to I just want to say this like you know we've been at times this podcast has been everything, but I don't know if it's been a travel podcast. No. No, so I, I want to kind of get into that a little bit, you know. Well, um, I'm going to say to everyone listening right now, if you are particularly if you're on the West Coast, there's probably an East Coast equivalent. If you're mm-hmm. on the West Coast, uh, even in the Midwest, mm-hmm. and you kind of want a little week away right now, tomorrow, yeah, you can get down here, down and out real quick. You yeah. can be down and out here real quick. It sure. costs nothing to come here. Nothing. Yeah. You know how you. much my flights were? Tell me. Three hundred and twenty dollars. Three hundred and twenty dollars Canadian. So that's about like fourteen American dollars. Yeah, or yeah. five euros. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Did you spend a lot of money in Italy? Um, not. So, we didn't spend a lot of money except when the Italians took it from me. Um, you got when, robbed whenever they could. No, uh, we didn't get robbed necessarily, but. We did, um, so like on the flip side of what you're doing, since this is now a travel podcast. Yeah, let's do it. I want to kind of know about your trip. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't know if anybody here has ever traveled with an infant child before to Europe on, on multiple 
uh, getting a f- delayed six hours and then rerouted on three different flights over 23 hours to get you to your destination where you have a two hour drive to your like essential to your apartment in the suburbs where you're staying. Nice. Um, but the pretty much the only word to describe it is hor- horrifying. Horrifying. Is the expression. <laughs> it is quite literally my version of hell. If yeah. I could choose it would be that. Mm-hmm. Um, and, um, <laughs> and we got there, um, you know, we knew this was going to be difficult and let me preface this by saying we went because Alex's sister was getting married. Yeah. To a wonderful man. To a wonderful man. And we had, you know, the wedding itself was like, there was a moment. So the, the good, the good ending to this story, I'll just give it to you. So is we got there. It was horrible. We were jet lagged. We were so tired. It was such a difficult trip. They make traveling in airports and on planes now so hard. Oh yeah. I, I don't know what has happened, but maybe it's always been this way, and we're just older now. I don't know. Um, but um, we got there, and then night one, our little daughter got sick in the yeah. middle of the night. Caught something. First time I've ever been sick. Hundred and two fever in Very the middle high. of the night. I Google it. It's like anything over 102. Yeah, you're, like you're right them, there. You're take right them there. To the emergency yeah. room. I think 103 in the shade, yeah. you know, is bad. <laughs> so we're like, so this is the first two days. Alex doesn't go to a couple of events. She was inconsolably sick for the first two days. And you can imagine, um, not, it just isn't fun. Um, but then things started to improve and the wedding was wonderful. I bet. Um, we got a good sleep the night before the wedding. Um, Ramona recovered. And then there was a moment in the wedding. Everyone looked beautiful. It was in this like villa in the Tuscan Hills. Yeah. And there was a moment that I was sitting around the dinner table, which was gorgeous. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm in an Italian movie. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, I'm absolutely. in a 60s. Yeah. Like, uh, you like know. What's going to happen? Here? Yeah, it was. And the music and the whole thing and the string lights and the table. And mm-hmm. so it was really beautiful. And um and and that was nice and um and then but then like yeah after that it presumably was like, once you're in that environment there's yeah. a lot of kind of nonas around to help with the baby too yeah well alex's mom was huge yeah um she she was there and she helped out a lot which was great um but you know it's just it, i don't want to i don't want to do johnny's midlife crisis part 2 no here. let's do it they but, loved it they loved it but like we're just tired we're just like dead tired like and we were tired before we left so we were tired there the whole time luckily the wedding day was we we were good um but um but then we had like three or four days after the wedding. We went back to Florence and just kind of hung around. And you, for those of you who are picturing your friend Johnny here, you can imagine the streets of Florence are like just jam-packed with tourists walking around looking at the Duomo and various architectural mm-hmm. landmarks. And the cobblestone sidewalks are about two feet wide. And yeah. I'm pushing the baby stroller down the thing like sure. this. Meanwhile, there's cab drivers fingering me and screaming at me. S- people on scooters going about 80 miles an hour, threatening to kill me and my family. And um, it's just kind of like, you know, when I love Europe so much, um, but when you're, you know, when you're 21 and it's 2 a.m. and you're wandering the streets of Florence, yeah, you're kind of doing of like wine. a Leonard Leonard Cohen yeah. style. <laughs> you've got a European bottle of red adventure. wine. You've met yeah. some girl at a cafe, oh, and yeah. you're like, you know, you're doing this thing, and you're like, you know, you're romanticizing the whole thing, looking at the stars, reciting poetry, all this oh, kind of. Yeah. Stuff. It's just out of out of this world, beautiful. But when you're doing it in the way that I was doing it, it's just Europe is a very a difficult place it's kind of hard traveling place you know yeah um, and with a with a baby in tow i can't imagine it's very no relaxing. and it's it's not relaxing at all that's that's the word i was looking for and then so at the end of that day we went wandering well, also the, the pressure yeah. the pressure as well to like the, the new pressure for people like us are kind of middle class hipster tourists is yeah to find the right places to do things you know you yeah. don't want to be getting stuck in that no you don't so you're you don't. stressed you're like is this a tourist trap? 
Is yeah. you know what? We've got is one this... lunch today. We've got one chance at we a good can't lunch. Fuck it up. <laughs> I can't fuck up this lunch. No, I'm on. I'm on TripAdvisor. I'm on the whole thing. I'm looking. Yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. Um. So 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 that.